Okay, today was going to be a lazy day, but I uh, decided to come out to the workshop anyways. I got bored. Um, I'm going to put the uh, bearings and uh, seals in the, uh, in the front hub here. And uh, what I've got is this is the uh, race for the uh, outer uh, bearing. There's the race for the inner and the actual inner bearing. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a, a bearing uh, race and seal driver here and I chose it to be just so that it would just fit over the uh, over the race and I'm going to tap it in. These are one of those things that are pretty important to make sure that you get uh, going in straight otherwise if they go sideways they're going to bind and probably score the you know machine surface. Not that this is precision machined anymore, it's pretty beat up. But anyways I'm going to give that uh, a go. I am going to lube the uh, outer uh, outside of this uh, race here just to make it a little easier to go in. But first I got to go and make sure that I clean this out. I can f feel it's a little bit gritty in here. I haven't put any grease inside uh, the uh, the uh, housing because I you know, just cleaned her to work with it this way. Before I put the uh, bearings in I will be uh, very thoroughly working uh, you know wheel bearing grease into them and uh, you know hopefully we'll have these uh, put together before I end the day today. Okay so uh, driving the uh, outer uh, race was uh, fine but uh, driving the inner is going to pose a bit more of a problem because well my largest seal driver is actually smaller than the surface of the uh, or the outer uh, ring of the uh, of the race and if I used it to, you know, drive the uh, race, I'd be resting against the actual bearing surface and probably damage it, even though this is an aluminum uh, driver. You know, I, you know, I don't have any confidence that it would uh, not drive, damage it. But fortunately, I have another alternative. This is the original race, perfectly uh, intact. Probably could have still used it, but, you know, with the new bearing, I might as well get a new... Uh, a new uh, race in there. I'm just going to use it on top of this one and the uh, seal driver inside of it to uh, drive it down. So there you go, improvised tool. Probably these should be pressed in but hey this is the best way I've got to do it. Okay the uh, inner wheel bearing is uh, in uh, as well as the seal. I used a little bit of a gasket goop around the edge of the seal but only a very very small amount. Um, the seal, of course, I had to use my little hammer to tap it in gradually around the edge there. I don't have, like I said, a bearing and seal driver large enough to do that one. But uh, I was careful about it, and I didn't ding the uh, seal at all. Or the uh, seal edge, I should say. A um, little trick I'll share with you about uh, repacking wheel bearings. What I found was I've got one of those uh, bearing packing, uh, I'll call it a toy, that you uh, attach up to, you put the bearing in and you attach the uh, grease gun to and you shoot grease into it until, you know, basically you see grease coming out of the bearing on the outsides. And it worked, but it seemed to waste a hell of a lot of grease. Uh, what I found uh, was a technique my dad, you know, did, which was to put a bunch of uh, wheel bearing grease in a baggie, a Ziploc baggie, put the bearing in there and you just knead the uh, grease into it and you keep your hands clean and you keep the dirt on your hands out of the wheel bearing. So there's a eh, helpful hint hopefully. Anyways, I'm going to, I'm not sure what to do with this. This might have been a mistake to do this right now because it's going to be at least a few more days before I can uh, put this hub on because I'm still waiting for the seals for the uh, spindles. So I might see if I've got like a small plastic garbage bag and I'll bag this one and I'll do the other one and bag it as well just to keep the dust and dirt out of it. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay, second hub's done. Uh, here's the uh, other race. I should point out something that I did with the uh, race that I used to drive the uh, large, uh, large race, is the old race. Is I went and I put it on the belt sander and took, uh, well, more than a couple of thou off the, uh, the outer surface there and uh, made it a lot easier for it to be removed as well once I finished driving the uh, new one in. Everything looked good, no uh, damage to the uh, bearing surface, and uh, this uh, seal actually, you know, thought of, should have thought better uh, of what I was doing there. 
uh, I figured out a better way to drive the seal in with this seal. And that was I just put a piece of cardboard over the top to protect the surface and took a block of wood and just drove it on top. That's probably really obvious, but yeah, that's what worked for me. Okay, that's it for today.